everybody, I'm Wavecrafter223 and welcome back to Epic Tube News. Um, no, Murphycraft is not broken. The reason I'm in this animation studio is just because I feel like it. <laughs> so, to start off, um, this is what I plan to do with Knights of Mystica. Because the server that we used to do it on does not work, I'm thinking that on Murphycraft we could fly out to the middle of nowhere in creative and then land and then because when right when the before the episode that we made right before the server broke which is the most recent one which was posted I believe in March 30th that was a while ago um we were just getting ready to leave the town so then it could start up again we are out of the town and in the middle of nowhere trying to find Mystica and then we could have that on Murphycraft so then we can continue the series because I really don't want to cancel Nice of Mystica because I have a lot of ideas for it. And it'll be really cool once we can finally get to do it. Um, what just happened? What's that bear? Th that thing? What? What the? How's that bear thing? What is that? What? <sighs> Whatever. Okay. <laughs> and I have an announcement to make. I created a spread shirt store last night. I'm selling tons of stuff. There's like Samsung Galaxy phone cases, iPhone 4, 4S, 5 cases, t-shirts, tote bags. There's tons of cool stuff. You should go check it out. And there'll be a link in the description under the social networking area. It'll say spread shirt and then wavecrasher223.spreadshirt.com. So, yeah, you should go check it out. And if you don't know already, I have a Marificraft website now. And that is, um, it is wavecrasher223.wix, W-I-X, dot com slash Marificraft. And I will probably have a link to that in the description as well. And, um, our website of the week is Wix.com. So we're going to head there, and I will maybe show you how I edit some of my websites or something. Or just tell you a few tips about it. And then our Minecraft mod of the week is the Ore Spawn mod. It is available on Planet Minecraft. And our Roblox player of the week is Firesoul69. There will be a link in the description so you can go check out his profile. Then our YouTuber of the week is It's Flyware. He's a member of Zeusum's Fortunacraft server. Um, and on the Fortunacraft website, it says he is great at home, either like home or interior builds. And... Yeah, so you should go check out his channel. He's not, he has, I think, in the, he has somewhere around 35 subscribers, maybe 40 by now. So, yeah, you should go check out his channel. It's pretty cool. And then our musician of the week is Nico. You probably haven't heard of him if you're in the United States, but you might have. Because I believe he's from, well, I'm almost positive. He's from another country, maybe like Italian, but he speaks English, I don't know. But, um, I'll link in the description to like his website or something, wherever his main site is. Then we don't have a fun fact this week, but we do have a Mother's Day craft that I'm going to show you how to create. This is mainly for the kids, but if you're an adult or teenager, you might want to. Um, you're going to be crafting a... Or, not crafting. Well, I guess crafting, but you're going to be <laughs> making a tulip for your mom. So, I'm going to show you how to do that. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, for this craft, here's the supplies that you'll need. You'll need a pair of scissors a pen or anything that will show up good on green construction paper, a glue stick, green construction paper, 
and pink or red construction paper. And then to start off, you're going to need to cut the green construction paper so it's shaped like, well, longer than this, but it's like a, kind of like a really thin or small rectangle. And Allie's drinking in the background if you're disturbing. So I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting, and I'll be right back once I'm finished. All right, well, um, I accidentally glued before I started recording, so that's why this kind of looks icky. I had to take it apart. So, um, so you have your strip cut out, and then you also need to cut out something in the shape of this, which kind of looks like a tulip. And then you're ready to glue. Hopefully the glue actually works since I already glued. Then you glue it on and then you have your flower tulip. But you're not completely done yet. Oh, geez, Allie's coming over. <laughs> Allie, hold on. All right, good girl. Okay, then you're going to use your pen, and you're going to write, like, a Mother's Day quote or I Heart Mom or something nice that you can write to Mom. And, yeah, I'm going to go... I'll just write... heart mom on it. So then this is your flower and then you're ready to surprise your mom with it and then she'll probably love it. And now back, now we're heading back to the studio. Alright so hope you enjoyed the craft that we just made. Um, you should, um, you can, you can post in the comments what you wrote on the stem for your mom. Like if you did I Heart Mom or I Love You Mom or some kind of Mother's Day quote or something. So, um, yeah, so now we're going to head to our website of the week, which, as I said, um, like five minutes ago, maybe, I don't know, a while ago, um, wix.com, so yeah, I'll uh, see you there, you're going to see the Wix screen right now, alright, um, we're here at Wix, and these are some of the websites that I made, and now I'll get to explaining what all these thingies are in a minute. So, let me show you how you edit a website. You just go to Manage and Edit Site, then Edit. And it'll take you into your HTML5 editor. And then after it loads, this will show up. And sometimes it's a little laggy when you're editing. Um, Alright. So, this is Wave World. I've done some um, more editing. I had a, my, a link to my Spreadshirt store. Um, Alright, so you can, let me show you how to do some of these things. Well, to make those feeds for YouTube and Twitter and stuff, you just go into this app market. You can type in feed. And then this is the one I use, Feeder Ninja. And then you can select if you want YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. And then on here, you can copy your video URL. You can do YouTube or Vimeo, as it says here. Then you can update it, and then it will show that video that you want. And you can choose how, what color you want the control bar. And autoplay like, means, like, right when you get on the website, it automatically starts playing. And then loop means it starts playing again after it ends. 
Um, and that's how you do that. Now let me show you how I integrated my shop in here. Well, on Spreadshirt, you can, um, let's say, in there's a section URL and linking, and you can copy an HTML code, and then use this thing. And then right now it's just gray, but if you add a HTML code into there, it will turn into that. So before I added this store, it was just a gray box. And then I integrated, I added in the HTML code, and then it turned into this thing. And it's fully functioning, but I can't use it right now because I'm in edit mode. But once you're actually using the website, you can buy stuff and do whatever. And then... Um, so that's pretty much all the tips that I have. This is, I'm not going to like do like a tutorial on how to make a website. I'm just like showing you a few things that you can do. And you can do tons. This is, I've done all of this 100% free. You can do tons and tons of stuff on Wix for free. this whole website I made for free that's epic so now I'm going to X out of here and go back to here um alright so these are games because if I just made each page a game then if you went to a different page on the website the game noise would still play so then instead, when you want to play a game, you click on the link and it takes you to a whole other website. So when you're done playing, you exit out of the website. So then obviously the game music and everything will stop playing. So yeah. Um, and I don't know if it saves your game. I'm not sure it should save it. But I'm not 100% sure. Um... And let me show you all the templates you can use. You can use, there's tons of templates that you can select. Or if you want to start fresh, you can use, this one is like 100% blank. And then I think I use this one for WaveWorld because it has the navigation buttons at the very top you can pick what page you want but then this one these two lines this is just the footer down here in the header but it's 100% blank so yeah this one is 100% blank and then these all have just like a few starter things so then you can choose what type you want so this is pretty darn cool you can make as many websites as you want for free. But then if you do upgrade to premium, you can't upgrade you don't do it for every single site. So if I wanted to upgrade to premium, then I would then I could only either only get well, I could get it for more than one website, but then I would have to pay more than one a lot. I don't know how much it costs, but I just wouldn't want to get premium on like a million websites cuz that just wouldn't be very smart. <laughs> um, so, yeah. There is some stuff that requires um, premium, but I'd say like 85, 90, 95% of it is free. From what I know, at least 90% of it is 80%. Okay. From what I know, at least 85% of this thing is free. It's epic, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, you can just create an account with your email, and then 
Um, and you you don't make a username. I don't think you can. I wish you could. But you use your email and your um. You make an instead of a username, you you enter when you register. You do email and password. So, yeah, that's Wix. There's tons more to explore. I don't want to make this really long because just like a quick little thing about what this website's all about. And I believe they actually made this official Wix website using Wix. So yeah, they actually made this website using Wix. It says that somewhere. Okay, I don't know where it says that, but I do remember. Ah, but I do remember seeing that. They actually made this page, all these things, on Wix using their website maker. So that's cool. You can make this cool thing if you wanted to. So, yeah. Pretty darn cool. So, now we're going to head back to the studio and conclude this week's Epic Tube News. So we'll see you there. Alrighty, so I don't really have anything else to announce for this week's Epic Tube News. Um, well, actually, yes, I do. I have one more quick thing. Um, um, I has Cupquake. You have probably heard. Why does it look like I'm screaming? <laughs> what the heck? I has Cupquake has this weekly show called Piece of Quake. I think she makes it every yeah she makes it every Friday, and she is getting really close to episode 100. Her latest one, which she posted two days ago, was episode 98. So, congrats. And yeah, I guess that concludes our this week's edition of Epic Tube News. And we will see you next week, which will be May 19th. So, thank you for watching. I'm Wavecrasher223. Be sure to go check out my blog and my channel, my Twitter, and my Spreadshirt store. And we will see you next week. So, thanks for watching. Keep on crashing them waves. See you later. Mm-hmm.